Good evening. So, we've talked a bit in the past, at least on the site, about the, you could say the poor state of Korean beer. But lately, it has been changing quite a bit. Um, first, we've had uh, this big export boom, import boom, actually, this past summer. And uh, then we have all the microbrews, starting with the, with the homebrew club, uh, homebrew Korea, and now with all these uh, brew pubs coming around. And now the laws have been kind of relaxed a bit that protected the large chables, which made the, uh, the, the little duopoly that's kind of kept, you know, kept beer the way it is with uh, just, just two, two companies controlling the entire beer market with uh, the very bland watered down Korean beer. Well, now we're, I think we're on the edge of what could be a beer renaissance in Korea. The microbrew thing is really starting to pick up and we've starting to get the first microbreweries out of the brew pubs and into the stores. And for one thing, there are, there are three major, I don't want to say major, but there are three small breweries that have really broken out. There's, there's Craftworks, there's Magpie, and then there's Chillbrow or Seven Brow. Chillbrow has been the first one, to, first one of these three to really break into the supermarkets, and they're the first ones to have come up with an India Pale Ale. Now I just heard that this just came out in the market, and this is my first time trying it, so let's check it out. Wow! Okay, excuse me. That actually has some flavor. That actually feels like I'm in a brew pub. Wow! It's just like I expect an, an IPA to taste. It's it's rich. It has a little bit of citrus notes, like little grapefruit notes, a little toasty. I sound like I know what I'm talking about. It tastes a little bit like a California style beer. There you go. You guys got it. I'm not advertising these guys. I just tried it for the first time now. This is. Chill Brow, Seven Brow. I found this over at my local supermarket. This is Joe signing out. <laughs>